Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. In this episode, I'm going to answer your question about why you should convert your printer to an E3D V6 hotend. So, in the last episodes, I was talking about how to convert your printer to the E3D V6 system. And in this episode, I'm going to explain why you should do so. Well, let me first show you the original nozzle, that's this one, uh, that came with your printer when you bought the Da Vinci Pro printer. With this nozzle, um, you can print all kinds of PLA, ABS, and even uh, on slower speeds you can print PATG material with it. So it's a great nozzle, but it isn't changeable, so you can't change the nozzle whenever there is something wrong with it. You also have to be very careful when printing with abrasive materials, like uh, materials that contain metals in them, for example bronze fill or copper fill or that kind of materials, because they can wear out your nozzle very quickly. Then there is this E3D V6 style hot end. This is a non-original version and you can choose whether to use an original or a non-original uh, yeah, version of this one. And the reason why you should choose between those versions is because of the pricing. So let me first show you what I've got here. This is a drop-in cartridge which is designed by Bruce Walker. Uh, he also made the PCB that's inside here. And you can see how I made this in another video that's in the top right corner. Now with this uh, drop-in cartridge, I'm using the E3D V6 system and it's not an original which is in here, but you can choose to do so. So this is the original E3D ecosystem. So this is the E3D V6 hot end and it costs about 43 pounds and this is Great Britain pounds. So uh, in euros, this would be about uh, 50 to 55 euros, something like that. And uh, this is a very, very good hot end that you can use for uh, your E3D conversion. So if you're using this hot end, uh, then you can go very hot. Uh, and you can also use that sleeve that's around the hot end, as you can see here. And this sleeve prevents the hot end from cooling down when you're using a cooling system. Now, with this price, you can also choose for a uh, non-original extruder. This is an extruder that looks like an E3D V6. It's got the same dimensions and it's got the same interchangeable parts. The only thing different is that this is a non-original one and I guess this is uh, a little bit smaller in the heater block. So uh, when you're thinking of a nozzle like this you're thinking of about uh, 7.5 euros. So this is way cheaper than the original. And why should you choose between an original or a branded version? Well, what I've got here is a non-original version. This is the very cheap one. And in a DaVinci Pro printer this is good as well. The reason is because the DaVinci Pro printer can't heat up your nozzle on a higher temperature than 260 degrees Celsius. So there is no reason to go for the original that can go way higher. With the original you can go up to 300 degrees Celsius if you have the one with an inner liner tube or you can even go to 400 degrees Celsius when you have an all metal version. So there are ways to choose from uh, depending on if you want to have the, the temperature going really really high when you're printing materials that need this high temperature. But for the Da Vinci Pro machine, you can't go that high. So there is reason enough to buy an El Cheapo version. Now, when you have an hot end with an interchangeable nozzle, this means that you can change that nozzle when uh, abrasive materials wore it out. So when this hot end uh, has its nozzle worn out, I can choose to put in another nozzle. Then you can choose for the brass one, which will wear out, but it will heat up very quickly. 
or you can choose for the all metal one. And the advantages of an all metal one is that it won't wear out that easy uh, when you're using it with materials that are abrasive. So with this ecosystem of a nozzle, uh, a heater block, a heat brake and a heat sink, you can uh, yeah, well, you can buy parts that you need and most of the time you will need only the nozzle. This gives you the possibility to change that nozzle. And now you can also have the possibility to go from 0.4 mm as a whole to for example 0.2, 3, 4, 5 or even 8 mm. 0.8 that is uh, for the whole. Now, Another thing you have to take care of is when you're buying your nozzles, you have to make sure that you buy the nozzles which are uh, with the correct size. And this is what happened to me when you're buying the really cheap nozzles, like 25 nozzles for only 10 euros, uh, then you will have nozzles that are, I bought them at 0.4 millimeter opening. Uh, but in fact some of them were 0 0.3, some of them were 0 0.5, so they're not very correct. And uh, I, yeah, well, I couldn't use all the nozzles. But then again, they were very, very cheap. When you buy more expensive ones, like the originals uh, from E3D, then you pay about four and a half pounds for only one nozzle. This is about five and a half euros. So, uh, you can buy a more expensive nozzle but then you know it's a very good one or you can buy a whole package of El Cheapos and then well you have to find out which ones are good and which ones aren't. That said uh, I think this is a very very good value for the money so for only a few bucks you can buy yourself a complete hot end system uh, which has the extruder parts, the nozzle, everything you need. So well I think this is a great upgrade for your DaVinci Pro machine. If you happen to like this video, then please hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And well, if you can spare me a dollar for a cup of coffee, thank you so much, because you are the guys that keep this channel running. So this is it for this video, and I hope to see you again next week. Thanks for watching. Bye bye!